Uh, this is uh, Christopher with uh, Mulehorn Gaming, and we just got to play uh, Earthfall, and man, this game was a blast. Can you tell us a little bit about what Earthfall is about? Sure, uh, yeah, we, we just played it, it was great. <laughs> it was a fun time. Um, I got to play with them, which is really cool. Uh, so Earthfall is a cooperative PvE game in the vein of Left 4 Dead, so Left 4 Dead style game. Um, we joke and we call it Left 4 Doom, or, uh, or, or if, you know, Doom and Left 4 Dead had a baby, what would it look like? Well, Earthfall is it. And so, uh, super intense, lots of jibs, really like high action, uh, which is what people yearn for in their first person shooters. Um, but we took that sort of cooperative PvE model to the next level, and uh, we added layered in story, which is really cool, um, and a sense of base building. And so, we're not just going A to Z like you are in Left 4 Dead. You're stopping along the way, you're hunkering down, and you're protecting an area surviving from the hordes and then moving on again and it's quite a bit different experience it actually gets you into that protective you know like I should put a turret down here I should put a fence down there so that's really cool it had that tower defense thing where you like you're just trying to stop the waves um, and we saw different bosses or different uh, different characters that were coming at us yeah. um, the unique sounds can you tell us about the sound design on this because it was fantastic like you got a very a real good sense of when and what was going to be happening in the game from that sure yeah so we do you know sound the sound design is really technical and I wish the sound designer was here to tell you all about it. but uh, I do know I do know a ton about it um, and the music and the sound effects in concert is actually what really makes it happen and so all of a sudden uh, we knew that there was a beast coming or a sapper coming the VO from the characters, whoever identified them would spot them and say, Sapper's coming, that, that, and then you'd hear the, the, the scream of the Sapper itself, and then you'd hear music kick in. So it started to create some more intensity, and so as we were playing, like you start to feel a little bit more tense, and you're looking around for him at that point, um, and another person spots him, and then they, they say, there he is over there, and, and then we start communicating as players, and that layered sound is really what uh, creates a really great game experience. I felt the weight of the guns, like you could tell the di distinction between each one of the weapons. Can you explain how you uh, try to balance the weaponry in this game? Yeah, well, we have tons of experience in first person shooters and so that's probably part of what you felt and we spent a lot of time on the combat part of it. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, when it all co what it all comes down to is like trying to make, the, you know, giving you the feeling that it's the weapon that in real life. And so sound, animation, screen shake. You know, the, the pace of the weapons fire, things like that. The sound, that you know, that delay and the sound versus when it fires and all that stuff is really important. So when you had the AK, feels really powerful because there's a little bit of delay in that sound and you get that kickback um, and, it's, and the guys fly back, right? All that in concert is, is actually what really helps those feel grounded and the fact that it's really an AK. I'm feeling like I'm really shooting that. With, with the weaponry too, we saw some of the weapons. Are there more weapons in the gun than, than we were privy to in just the demo? Yeah, I mean, we the, the, the level we were playing and the printer we were on was only printing out, what, MP5s and uh, AK and gra grenades. A lot more weapons than that. And uh, as you explore more of the game, you, you find more printers. You'll also find hidden caches and things like that. So you might find some classic weapons that might not be printed from a 3D printer. Um, and then you know, we got the turrets as well, which we didn't mention you know, buildable emplacements. And so we went and put down a turret right in the middle of that station, and we took down a couple of big guys uh, that way. I saw you climb a roof. I did. Uh, we can build ladders as well. So you put a ladder down and climbed a roof, put a turret up there, and then all of a sudden we had a bird's eye of, uh, of all the hordes as they came in. And that was a good strategy, strategy for us as well. Does this game have the ability to be a single player game too? Uh, does the level you know, intensify or detensify depending upon whether you have more players or not? Yeah, we, we ha you can play single player. There's human AI uh, component to the game. And so uh, you know, we hope you would play with other players and I think the experience is a lot better. But if you don't, if there's nobody available, the AIs do a really good job of helping you out, especially shooting. They're particularly good and precise at shooting. Um, so they're really good at that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's meant to be played together, but can be played singularly as well. And when is Earthfall coming out? Uh, Earthfall, we don't, we haven't announced the date, but this sometime this year. Um, you know, we're we're really we really want to make sure our first you know first big game release uh, comes out nice and polished. Now this is going to be coming out on Steam, correct? Yeah, it's Steam PC first, okay. and then later in the year we're going to be out on PS4 and Xbox One. So that's pretty exciting. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. We really had a great time with Earthfall. Uh, this is Christopher signing out from Mulehorn Gaming live at PAX South.